next thing I am doing with my freed up cash, I am going to adopt a child. <laughs> if there's any gun control advocates out there and they just heard what I just said, and now they're like, hey, well, he wants to adopt a child. You know, their blood is boiling, I suppose. But let me tell you guys, I am the best parent that I know. My daughter is one of the happiest kids on the planet. She, I give her as much freedom as I possibly can. I give her more respect than most parents give their kids. I treat her with just as much as respect as I treat, you know, as I give to my wife or my elders or whoever, any adult. I give my daughter just as much respect. The only exception I make in terms of, you know, what she's free to do is I'm a parent. I'm responsible for her. So I don't let her put herself in serious danger of grave physical injury or disease and I don't allow her to aggress against others. The whole non-aggression principle applies to my parenting, and I am definitely a peaceful parent. Um, not only that, but be because I believe in freedom and freedom to bear arms, I am able to defend my daughter if anyone ever targeted her for an act of violence. I'm also an unschooler, homeschooler type. I want to be involved with my, ch my child. I don't want her to be indoctrinated by anyone, including myself. You know, my priority is to teach her critical thinking skills, something that I don't think is taught in most public schools. You know, no offense against teachers. I love teachers. I just don't like the system. So anyway, I am the best parent I know. And I know that sounds like pretty cocky, but I'm sure there are other parents that are much better than me. I. I live in Chicago, or I used to live in Chicago, and now I live close to Chicago. I'm surrounded by statists who support aggression, who send their kids to public school, and um, I'm just going to leave it at that. And, and here's the thing. Here's why I'm adopting a child. I was adopted. So in a sense, I'm paying it forward. You know, I, I, I feel that it was very fortunate for me to be adopted because somebody gave me life, somebody gave gave me to two loving parents who I love dearly. And uh, I, th I think it's one of the luckiest things that ever happened to me. So I want to help someone else in the same way. You know, if I could, if I could afford it, I'd, I'd adopt many, many children. Uh, but we're just taking one step at a time. You know, adoption can be expensive. You might have to travel. You have to have these home evaluations. So anyway, I'm beginning this process. It's going to take money, so I'm, devo I'm uh, putting some money aside to do that. I also want to make the point that if you really want freedom to increase for human beings, then it basically makes sense for freedom lovers to have more children. And I don't think... I, there are some real role models in the freedom movement, like Stefan Molyneux, who really stressed that you know, the way to freedom is to raise children peacefully with respect and teaching them critical thinking skills, you know, not ever committing any kind of abuse against your child. That's how you uh, teach someone to basically be peaceful, to not be an aggressor. And that's how over time a culture can transform from one based on aggression, one where aggression is common, to one where aggression is, is looked at like a really bizarre behavior, which is what we want. So, so yes, there are people talking about this, but I just want to say, I, I know a lot of freedom lovers, and a lot of the freedom lovers I know are not having many babies. <laughs> okay, I don't know if it has something to do with uh, their wanting to be free from, I don't know, commitments, um, so that they can be free to do just about anything. I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, I know some people kind of equate marriage and uh, long-term monogamous relationships as some kind of slavery. I don't. I, that's a pretty harsh word, but you know, when they're when they break up, when they are single, they look at that like, "Hey, now I'm free." But uh, just from my personal perspective, I love my daughter like crazy. I can't even express the level <laughs> that I love my daughter. Um, she just brings so much joy. And of course, it is a responsibility and it takes a lot of time and commitment and patience. She has taught me to be patient more than anyone else I know. 
I, but I just want to say it's to me for me I think it's well worth it and um, you know people say oh I can't imagine life, what life would be without this person um, and that really does apply to me so yeah I believe it's good for us to have more children because that way more children will be la- raised by peaceful respectful non-aggression principle abiding parents and um, when you adopt a child it's kind of like a double plus because when you have your own child you're creating a freedom lover but you're not preventing a statist from existing but when you adopt a child you're kind of uh, giving a negative to the scoreboard on the statist side and you're putting a positive on the freedom side and I know that's a pretty cold statistical way to look at it but hey that's just a nice side effect you know there's a lot more to raising a kid than just increasing the number of freedom lovers in the world statistically and decreasing the status. It's also an awesome experience. So that's what I'm planning to do. Now, what else? Okay, so I moved. Why did I move? And why does that achieve more freedom? (laughs) 